the Sri Lankan woman who was allegedly murdered by her husband at a hotel in East Coast Road was fondly remembered a friend to many and always had kind words and a smile to give. Miss Elizabeth Kemper wrote about the tragic death of her classmate, Miss Daiwinich Suwandi Maduka Kumori, in her LinkedIn post last week. They are classmates in La Trobe University, Australia. Both are pursuing a master's degree in chemical sciences. Miss Daiwinich is said to have been killed by her husband Ashon Taroka Kotech, also a Sri Lankan, at the Holiday Inn Express Singapore Katong on September 9. The police had learned of the crime when Kotech, 30, turned up at the Marine Parade Neighborhood Police Center, about 1.5 kilometers away, later that day and purportedly confessed to the murder. Police officers were sent to Kotech's hotel room where they found Miss Daiwinich lying motionless with a slash wound. She was pronounced dead by paramedics. Miss Daiwinich had been on holiday in Singapore when the tragedy struck. Said a spokesman from her university, which is located in Melbourne. Miss Kemper told British tabloid Daily Mail that Miss Daiwinich had been really excited to go on a holiday with her husband after being apart for more than a year. The 32-year-old had been studying in Australia while her husband was working in Sri Lanka, said Miss Kemper. In her LinkedIn post, Miss Kemper also appealed for donation to help with Miss Daiwinich's funeral arrangement. As Suandi is from Sri Lanka, it will cost her family around 8,000 Australian dollars, 7,037 Singapore dollars to transport her body from Singapore to Sri Lanka, she added, calling for people to donate to the GoFundMe campaign. The campaign has raised 1,480 Australian dollars as at 1.20 a.m. on Saturday. Shinmin Daily News reported last week that local undertaker Roland Tay had offered to cover the expenses of preparing and flying Miss Daiwinich's body home after he learned of her family's tight financial circumstances. La Trobe University postdoctoral student Jose Jairo Viriol Diaz, who taught Miss Daiwinich, has also taken to LinkedIn to express his disbelief that a fellow international student was the victim of such a tragedy. Mr. Viriol Diaz, who is from Colombia, wrote, Suwandi was my student and she was one of the sweetest human beings I could ever have in the teaching lab. I can't describe the sentiment since she was in my class just last week. La Trobe University held a memorial for Miss Daiwinich on September 18, according to the Daily Mail. A university spokesman told The Straits Times that the school was deeply saddened by the death of one of its students. She said, our thoughts and condolences are with her family and we have been in regular contact with them, as well as with her student peers and colleagues at La Trobe. The university has been providing well-being support and other assistance as her family and friends grieve. Correction note, in a previous version of this article, the headline and lead said a classmate is raising funds to take Miss Daiwinich's body back to Sri Lanka. But Shinmin Daily News had reported on September 14 that local undertaker Roland Tay had offered to cover the expenses of preparing and flying the body home. We are sorry for the error.